is the Malones, my name is Peter 1582, and welcome back to Top 10, where I just do any kind of Top 10, whatever I want. And basically, I should have, like, um, watched my videos before I upload them. Because basically, I should, like, look into my video game breakdown, and my vlogs, and my Top 10s. Because basically, now, um, I just noticed that there, there's steam coming out of my Chromebook, and it's messing up my videos. There's actually steam going on right now, and I don't like that. But thing is, though, since I don't have like a a blocking system to don't have that um, steam on, it's gonna be there for quite a while. But I don't know how to take it off, so I so I maximize the entire volume of the of the um, the themes today, so you guys can actually hear it. Well, since I got that disclaimer out of the way, welcome to top ten video game themes. Well, songs actually, <laughs> top ten video game songs, any kind of songs, uh, video game themes. Uh, if somebody's like singing it only in um, in the game, whatever. As long as it's a song that's in a video game uh, that I love, I put it in my list no matter what. So basically, I, I will have a little disclaimer because basically I have to like search up him, of course. <laughs> so um, I have to search him up, search him up because I wasn't like a really a uh organized for this so let's just rub and get on into it so number 10 is gang plank galleon oh wait gang plank galleon <laughs> oh god gang plank galleon in donkey kong country now if you guys don't know donkey kong country it's, it was the first of the donkey kong series uh, that started on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and Gangplank Galleon was um the last level of the game, and it was really really nice, and I really love it, and that's why I made it my number ten. There is no flaws to it. It's just um it's really really awesome. I'm not gonna view the whole song. I'm just gonna review like only like two minutes of it, and that's it. So no further ado. Um before like um start the audio I just want to say one thing I know I have like um audio uh, um audio uh how you say it audio problems so it, I know that this music is gonna sound like shit but I hope you guys can still hear it and I know that I still love this kind of music so if you guys still love it as well please leave it in the comments below and if you have like any like um some advice how to get this freaking steam off my Chromebook, that would be good as well. And let's start off. And there you have it. <laughs> that was number 10, Donkey Kong Country, Game Plank Galleon. Now, I really love this song because of how it was all cheerful at first. And then it goes very dark and spooky for the final battle. Now, this is when you actually fight King K. Rool if you haven't played the, um, uh, Donkey Kong Country before. And this is when you fight um, King K. Rool, which one of these people I want to have in Smash to this game. But, um... Um, I really like gameplay Galleon, but that is oh shit. <laughs> don't worry about that. The <laughs> shoe box fell. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's just there. Not gonna bother anybody. But um, gameplay Galleon is one of my favorite themes because of how how the beat actually goes with it. Because if you guys actually heard that beat, it actually like it's actually cheerful at first, but then it like goes all dark and everything. And they how they changed the beat was so great. And that's why I made this as number 10. 
And so, for, um, oh god. <laughs> for number 9 is Dreamland in the Game Boy's Kirby. Now, if you guys don't know um, Kirby, which I hope none of you do, um, Dreamland is one of those that is really, really uh, stuck in your head because of how it is and how it is in Smash as well. So, with no further ado, let's uh, listen to it. Brash. Don't worry, it's gonna take a long time. And there you go, Kirby's Dreamland. Now, I really love this because the first time I first heard it was on the Super Smash Brothers for 64. And um, when I actually heard it, I wanted to know if it was actually in a, in a Kirby game. And then when I actually heard about it, I'm like, Sakurai, who are your composers? Because the way they made this, it made me want to run. Because the way how I am like this, the way that I hear this in my own ears and mind, I want to run. This has really good um of that cheerful effect that makes you just want to keep on going and play the game. This is why I like Kirby's Dream Land as number nine, which is really really great that I that I've actually chose this. And I know there's a lot of Kirby's Kirby fans out there who really love this as well, and it's a memory to them. And so there was num that was number nine, Dream Land by Kirby. Now to number 8, and that is The Moon by DuckTales. Now if you guys don't know DuckTales either, it was just like this um game that was on the NES, I think. I think it was the N No, Game Boy. Oh no, it was the NES, okay. It was on the NES, and it was one of the greatest soundtracks I've heard. But people actually said it was garbage of the 80s. I'm here like, what? Are you serious? DuckTales, The Moon? No, I have to admit though, I don't like DuckTales. I really hate DuckTales, but I, just, I love the moon. I really love the moon. And so here is number eight, The Moon by DuckTales. Start up. And that was number 8, DuckTales. Now I have to admit, I never liked DuckTales, but I loved the Moon soundtrack. It, and people at school actually know this because I will be humming this every day. I'll, I'll just be um, walking around the quad and be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
everybody would be looking at me weird because they be thinking I'm like doing this kind of like big gay dance or some shit. But I love um, DuckTales The Moon. It's really, the way how the NES soundtrack was like this, it was really, really, I don't know how to say it, but it was a very aggressive um, sound to me, like a nice sound to me. It, and I really love the moon. I really love it. And I know there's some other people who like the moon as well. And and we all love this soundtrack from DuckTales. And how I am surprised of how this is music from the Nintendo Entertainment System. Which I think was just pretty crazy. And, but anyway, that was number 8, The Moon by DuckTales. Now on to number 7, Grand Theft Auto 4 theme. Now if you guys don't know that one... It's um, it's oh wait, don't. <laughs> it's um, it's the it's like a dubstep kind of thing, of uh, of the of uh, Grand Theft Auto Four. Now I know there are some people who love to play Grand Theft Auto. I love playing Grand Theft Auto, and I didn't know they have a theme, which is pretty weird, and because you know it's 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 Grand Theft Auto, and it's supposed to have their own music. I mean, from from real life. But, um, which is pretty weird. I actually, like, heard this, like, about two weeks ago. And I really enjoyed this for some reason. And so, here it is. And it'll load up a bit. Okay. And there you have it. Two reasons why, three reasons why I love this song. One, it's Grand Theft Auto. Two, it actually makes you feel that you're actually going to be in a mafia and you're going to shoot up some motherfuckers. <laughs> and number three, the way how the starting point is of this, how it gets so dark and groomy, and then now it starts being all 
in action -y and everything like you're about to like rob a rob a freaking bank or something and that's why I love GTA 4 themes themes because um the how it was um really planned out how it's dubstep is it's really really nice and of course they're gonna be making a song song like this for GTA 4 because um you know it's rockstar they gotta make some cool music right but um that was number seven GTA uh, GTA 4 theme now on to number six Ryu theme Street Fighter 2 now everybody has to know this song right uh, song but um but like um, not many people know Street Fighter 2. I mean, a lot of people supposed to know this. Well, it was like, it had like four up to five sequels of it, so of course. I mean, it even made it to Smash, so what's the point, right? But Street Fighter 2 Ryu theme is like one of those themes I like to keep in my own heart. Because this actually takes me way back. It does. When I had Street Fighter 4, yeah. So, here is Street Fighter 2. Ryu's theme. And there you have it, Ryu's theme by Street Fighter 2 number 6. There's a lot of reasons why I love this theme, Ryu's theme mostly, because the way how this takes me back a long time ago when I played um, Street Fighter 4, I really really love this theme. And it actually gives you pumped up energy, like it, did you feel that? That This theme gives you energy, which is really crazy. Um, I even pumped up for this now. I want to go like play some sh some Mortal Kombat right now just by listening of that. Cause um, thanks to this, you can actually get pumped up of actually fighting and learn your combos, which is really really good. The way how this art style of uh, this art style of the music was, and how the beat went, how the jingle went, it was just so amazing. And this really takes me back. But this was number six. Reuse theme by Street Fighter 2. Now on to number 5. I could tell a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but... Come on, I love it. It's even in my intro song. You guessed it. It was Star Fox Corneria theme. It was Star Fox Corneria theme. Now trust me, a lot of people, I mean a lot of people don't like this song. I don't know why, but a lot of people don't lot like this. I love it. I love Corneria. I do. It's just, I don't know why nobody, well, some people don't like it. I think that Corneria was a great song. It was so great that I put it into my intro music. So, this is number five, Corneria, Star Fox.
Corneria Star Fox. You cannot tell me you can't hate this song. You can't. It's so majestic, man. It's so majestic, man. So majestic. Man, I'm acting like a hippie over here, but god damn, I love Corneria. I love this intro so much. <laughs> intro. I meant theme, I'm sorry. I love this theme so much because I love this so much that I made it as my intro music. I was going to actually make um, Ice Cap Zone from Sonic 3 as my intro music, but I made Star Fox one because it was perfect for my intro. It was perfect. I love this theme. I loved it. Now, now this is actually an answer to all your questions. Hey, Pred, what's your intro music? Hey, Pred, dude, what's your intro music? Well, here you go. Number 5, Corneria, Star Fox. Fun fact, this is actually a uh, uh, theme to my third favorite game. You can go watch my other top 10. <laughs> Alright, that was number 5. Now on to number 4. Super Smash Bros. Brawl theme. Now you cannot, cannot hate me on this. You cannot. Because cause the way how this is, you just cannot. The, I mean, trust me. We've all play, played Brawl before, right? Right. Well, some of us. Because I guess none of us like got a Wii yet. <laughs> but, um... But the way how um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl's um, theme is... It's really weird. Because it actually sounds like a tournament is about to happen. They actually try to sound like a traditional... Um, uh, video game. A traditional fighting game. Which is really cool. They're trying to get back up that of that um stationary where they call them the number one family fun game and so here is um super smash brothers brawl theme sorry but i'm shaking the table as well Smash Brothers Brawl theme. Now you cannot tell me. Okay, I'm saying that a lot. Now, um, you cannot tell me that this cannot be energetic as it is. How these people, these composers, these choirs, these musicians put their lives, heart, and soul, and blood and tears into this theme. Cause the way how this went is so amazing. Now I was going to make um Lucas's Super Smash Brothers 4 theme on here, you know, 
But, but Brawl actually took the cake for this one, cause I remember Brawl was really, really amazing game, and how Wolf was my main, and how Brawl, Brawl's theme actually made me feel good about myself, because I probably only played Brawl like twice, and and when I heard the theme, I was like, holy mother of Christ, this is so awesome. So this was number four, Super Smash Brothers Brawl theme. Now number three, Zelda's Lullaby. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Now, if you guys don't know this lullaby, then you were under a rock then. Because basically, this lullaby, it's very memorable. Especially how it was in, um... Ocarina of Time, it it it, re it reminds me of how how I I try to play um the Ocarina of Time on a on a um an N64 ROM, and I actually like um felt peaceful and relaxed. I was actually feeling good about myself. Saving Princess Zelda was worth of my time. So here is Zelda's Lullaby, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, number three. Well, there you go. Did you guys fall asleep during that? Hey, Chicha Wallace, wake up! <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, but um, that was Zelda's Lullaby number three, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Now, there's a ton, a sack load of reasons why I love this um theme. I I don't even know the reason why I put it at number three. It should be number two, but there are reasons why I made this number three. It's because, um, I like Legend of Zelda, but not all that much. Come on. <laughs> That's why I made it number three. But when I played Ocarina of Time on an X64 emulator, I was like, holy crap, this game is awesome. I wish I had a real N64 to play so I can actually play this for myself. But then when I got to the end level, I'm like, wow, this lullaby. It's so oozing and amazing. Who's the flute player? I want to kiss them. <laughs> who who is really the flute player? Can one of you can one of you um, Home Alone's leave in the comments below. Um, who is the flute player for the Zelda's Lullaby? And if you can, like email them or something, tweet them. I love their Zelda Lullaby. I really do. And there's, and there's also a reason why I love Zelda's Lullaby. Because not only did it make me like feel good about myself of helping um, Princess Zelda, but it also helps me the accomplishments of what you can, of what goals you can achieve. Which is really kind of cheesy, but who cares, right? It, 
it really does give me some relative activities of what um, I've done in my life that I made want to be accomplished with. And so, that was number three. <laughs> Zelda's Lullaby, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Now to number two. Now this shouldn't even be a big surprise because I guess like almost all of you know that I am a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. And guess what? The top two are from Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> but this is number two. Ladies and gentlemen, Green Hill Zone, Sonic the Hedgehog. I cannot lie! I have this on my MP3! I listen to this every single day, no matter what! I'd be playing this every time I play Tanky Online, Slay Dot One, Zombocalypse, Google Feud, anything! Any game that I play, I will always play Green Hill Zone, whatever kind of game. But there's a reason why I only made it number two. Num it was only number two because this. Um, theme actually gave people nightmares for some reason and I never experienced any nightmares no I, I haven't but people have experienced nightmares and I'm here like what the fuck how can um people from from like the US or Japan or whatever be afraid and get nightmares of a music track from Sonic the Hedgehog I mean it's Sonic come on Blue Hedgehog he's fast now I kinda like figured out that reason three seconds later because if you guys remember, if you guys listen to the, the theme a little bit more, it has that little jingle in it that makes it have like a devilish thing in it, which I think is really, really creepy. But I still love Green Hill Zone to this day, no matter what. But there are some flaws to this Green Hill Zone theme because of that devilish uh, jingle it had in there. And it actually creeped me the fuck out. But I still love Green Hill Zone, no matter what. But it still didn't beat the number one spot. Now, number one is another Sonic the Hedgehog one. And I gotta admit, this one, I, I believe, was made by Michael Jackson. Um, and, it was, and it's in Sonic 3. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Now... I know what you're gonna say I I and I think you guys already know what the the track is but I just want to say one thing for sure is that this is my favorite video game theme of all time all time no matter what I mean my number one video game of all time most is Ratchet and Clank but my number one theme is this theme so home alones and gentlemen and ladies Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Ice Cap Zone.
to that. Oh, God. I love listening to Ice Cap Zone. No matter what. I love listening to this song. I love, I just love it. I love it. I love Sonic the Hedgehog 3. It, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 has been on, um, has actually been in my top 10 Sonic the Hedgehog games. It's, it's not a YouTube video. Um, it, it's, it's my personal, it's my personal one. And Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is my number one video game of all, of uh, all Sonic games. Other than Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is, <laughs> is like my favorite game of, so of all Sonic games. No matter what. But that might change when Project Sonic 2017 comes out. I actually have no idea. I am going to check that out also. But the reason why I love Ice Cap Zone. That jingle. It has that jingle. And I can tell this is made by Michael Jackson. And I actually believe that Michael Jackson made Sonic the Hedgehog 3 soundtrack. So I can't deny that. <laughs> I, I swear. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 has to be my favorite Sonic game of all time and the way how their music is and everything it, it's just so amazing how it's all great and how it's all so awesome now um, if you actually um go on top 10 Sonic themes you will actually like mostly find Ice Cap Zone in their list because this is because this Ice Cap Zone is like the, one of the best themes we have heard in a long time we even the sonic forums have said that ice cap zone was like in the top three best sonic the sonic the hedgehog themes so i have to say i love ice cap zone and basically that is it that is my top 10 video game songs of all time if you guys have your own video game themes oh god i barely know something <laughs> if you guys have your own video game themes or songs please leave in the comments below and i'll check them out see if they're um if they're like really really great i love all video game themes no matter what but i still want to go check them out because i haven't like heard any in like a while and i really want to know some new ones that i'll probably like put in another top 10 if i can but but if you guys have your own top 10 video game themes please leave in the comments below and please share it on my Twitter or my Instagram, whatever. Um, I really want to know what your guys' themes are. But if you guys agree with my list, um, then thank you. If you guys really uh, enjoyed my list, then please leave a like. And basically, that's it. <laughs> Just leave a like. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. But I guess I should really end it here of this top 10. There will be a gaming video tomorrow, so do not worry about that. But... Anyway, Home Alone, thank you for spitting on by. If you like, truly, if you like, if you really like, subscribe for daily content. I'll see you, Home Alone, in another video. I'm out.